Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today, back for episode three of the Gen's default series, or not the default series, but the free to play series here on royal.enchantedmc.net. This is the freshly reset brand new Gen server. So if anybody watching has been looking for a Gen server, look no further right here. This is Java and Bedrock compatible. The Bedrock IP and the Bedrock port are always linked down below in the description. And guys, I am purely recording today's intro because I have so many things that I need to update and like spend and i don't want you guys to be out of the loop all right if you missed the last episode we made a ton of progress we actually ended up winning this set right here actually we got our hands on some totems upgraded our gen farm a pretty decent amount and got all the way up to prestige level 23 now in today's video guys we are clearly going to be hitting prestige level 25 and that is going to unlock the coin magnet enchant which i'm hoping makes a massive difference in the amount of coins that we're making because currently with no boosters or anything literally just my pet and i guess my totem and my my set those are kind of the only coin boosters i'm getting right now but with those we're making about 200 to like 220 million coins per minute so that is hopefully going to go up in today's episode we ended up maxing out coin greed in 24 hours and wait a minute okay just making sure you couldn't prestige this thing but lately we have been purely focused on trying to max out the laser enchant until we get to prestige 25 but i'm gonna get into all of that here in a second okay right now i have 6.5 billion dollars that we uh sold in the last episode at the end of the last video i'm recording this one like kind of back to back almost but right here we have another 550 million dollars so we're gonna go ahead hit this with a quick little sell wand i forgot to equip a money totem but i mean it's all good all right made 1.3 billion dollars and i'm recording this intro because i want to spend this money to upgrade our hoe a pretty decent amount but also we're probably gonna hit some upgrades on the gens it depends how much money we spend right here because i am getting myself to a netherite hoe at least so right here only 55 mil only 66 million dollars boom we are now on the netherite tool and i believe this should make us like the max speed i don't know if we get any faster than the netherite right here but if we take a look we might actually be able to get a chocolate tool i think we can afford it boom let's just run through some of these real quick oh we can definitely afford it netherite is tier five out of five and now we just have to spend 200 million dollars for the chocolate tool boom we have ourselves our first custom hoe on the server what the this one is being held a little weird i am not gonna lie i'm not sure if i'm liking the design of the chocolate one but you know we're gonna we're gonna rock with it right now i believe how much are the upgrades here like i feel like the bone looks a lot cooler but yeah that's pretty expensive i'd rather use this last seven billion dollars we have on upgrading as many gens as possible so let's go ahead start spending this money but also in today's intro guys we have a ton of enchantment keys that we can go ahead and open that we got from our nexus set because if you guys don't know the nexus skin will actually find you enchanted keys just while you're grinding so i'm not even sure what we can win out of those keys but enchanted keys are like the best keys on the server i believe besides like monthly crates star of the world loot boxes things along those lines but i think the goal for today's episode is to just progress a ton in the farming world and then in the next episode i think we'll have like enough resources like enough money enough coins in every single universe that we can start doing all of the quests and all of the other uh universes like lake mining and wood cutting i have still never checked out wood cutting at all and it's been here this is the second season it's actually on gens still haven't checked it out wood cutting is probably going to be my least favorite one to do but yeah anyways guys welcome back to the free to play series i have been having an absolute blast on here hopefully you guys have checked out the server and given it a try yourselves i am playing completely solo not buying any crates and i am literally having a blast but anyways boom there we go pretty fat upgrades to the gen farm we have full crying obsidian and one slime block right here so that's definitely gonna make us some money while we are afk but now let's go over to warp farm guys and i have stacked up 11 billion farm coins and i think that's because i think at least i want to max out fortune on my host that way you know we can start filling up our backpack a little bit faster and i'm thinking once we get to higher tier crops i think i'm actually gonna make a decent amount of money from just straight farming this could be an absolute bag sell guys okay i am not gonna lie to you or actually no bro i just upgraded my gens a ton and now we're making billions actually i think i just lied because like a full backpack right now is selling for like three million dollars which i mean granted that's not bad at least it wasn't bad whenever i was on like the diamond hoe and stuff because i would just have to sell the backpack a few times and we can get ourselves an omni tool like upgrade but now we are on the chocolate tool and every upgrade is going to be at least 230 million dollars so is three million really going to cut it i don't think so but at prestige 25 we will unlock a new crop and i believe it's going to be nether wart maybe that'll be 
like worth a little bit more money. So I think right now we spent all 12 billion farm coins onto laser. It's not going to be worth a whole lot of levels because laser is dumb expensive. And then after that, we just grind ourselves all the way up to prestige 25 and then save all of our coins and try to max out coin magnet as fast as we possibly can. I don't really think we unlock anything else super important like egg blaster. Who cares? And then maybe we can start focusing some of these crop enchants. So that way we can start making some money that way instead of going for like fortune and stuff. But actually, I also did just realize this right here. The experience enchant we have at level 14 out of a thousand. That's kind of criminal. We can almost fully max this thing out with the amount of farm coins we have. So you know what? We're not going to max it out. Oh, wait, what? Not enough currency. Excuse me. Oh, because a thousand levels is the max. Okay, we're going to get 500 levels of experience. So that way we can level up a little bit faster. Increases the amount of level XP earned whilst farming. So, you know, we'll run that for sure. But now we have 8.7 billion farm coins. It is all going on to this right here, laser. Hopefully we max out the laser enchant in today's episode. But the main priority I think is going to be coin magnet because I think it's like relatively cheaper. But now that that is out of the way, guys, we are not done because if I do slash crates, we have 164 enchanted crate keys that we can open up right here. Let's take a look at some of the loot. Oh, you win orbs from these? Granted, it's not that many orbs though. So that's kind of an L. But what else do you get? You could get like a captain rank. Oh, we might actually be able to flip these into some credits and stuff, which would be huge. Legendary cell one would be absolutely amazing. Gen slots are always good. More pet boxes would be huge as well. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to open up 164. Bang. Don't know all that we won. I don't really think. Yeah, it basically gives you like no farm coins. Gives you like okay-ish amounts of money. But we did get ourselves another legendary cell one right here. So we absolutely take that. But all in all, that was kind of it. We can open up this tier one box right here. Uh, we got a level totem that was actually better than this one. But again, we only have one totem slot right now. And that is being occupied by our coins totem. That did get us all the way up to 9 million orbs though. Oh my God. I just got insane lag spikes right there. But we did get all the way up to 9 million orbs. The only problem is I don't even know if that's enough for one companion. At the current rank I am, it is not. One companion egg is 15 million orbs. So just out of curiosity, I want to go to warp mine and let's switch over to our pickaxe. How the hell do, oh yeah, it's up here. We have almost 200 million mine coins. No clue if that's a lot at all. But if we take a look at coin greed right here, I mean, that's worth 4,000 levels of coin greed. Boom, just like that. Honestly, we'll, we'll take that. That's not bad. But I'm thinking in the next episode, we start hitting all of these other worlds, start knocking out all of the quests in every single one. But for right now, we could just keep, you know, grinding out keys with this set. And I believe enchanted keys give you like coins in every single universe. I could be wrong, but no, look at this tier three, all coins pouch. So it is actually making us coins in every single universe, which is going to give us just a decent head start wherever we're at. Because clearly if I go to warp lake, I haven't started on lake at all. Haven't fished up one thing, but we have 160 million lake coins purely from our enchanted keys. So yeah, you know what? We're going to keep going over here at warp farm guys. I'm going to take a cut. We're going to grind up the prestige level 25, and then we'll see how expensive the brand new coin magnet enchant is actually looking and actually do some tests with it to see if it makes a massive difference in the amount of coins that we make. And after a swift little grinding session, bro, honestly only took like 30 minutes. If it felt like we are now level 260, which means we can prestige and make it to prestige 25 and let's slash skills. I don't know if I've been spending my skills. Yeah, we had five skill points. Go ahead, dump them all right here. And with that, we should have just unlocked the coin magnet enchant. I have almost 10 billion farm coins already saved up and boom. That is going to be worth a ton of levels of coin magnet. We already have it at level 600. And like I said before, bro, we are making like 250 million coins per minute. So now I'm going to farm for a second and see if we can get some, uh, what the bro, what's the word I'm looking for? Like guidelines of how many we make per minute, bro. The summaries. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See if we can get a summary. Cause right there you gained 7.27 X coin multiplier from coin magnet. And there we go, bro. I finally caught a summary 330 million. It's not a massive massive difference but i mean an increase is an increase nonetheless so we are gonna take it and we can still upgrade the enchant a little bit more but 300 what was it 30 million i'm just gonna ballpark it 300 to like 350 million is definitely not bad and we're gonna switch over to the brand new nether war crop that we just unlocked we won't unlock a new crop until prestige 50 so buckle up because we're about to be here for a while but also guys i do have like 5,000 shards i guess i might as well try and upgrade this right here because we can get a boost towards our tool is that even like useful um pets or levels i guess we just go with momentum to be honest i don't really know what else would be worth it but we will get with momentum on all pieces all the way up to level five because we do not have too many shards but honestly it's not looking that expensive but yeah okay no it definitely adds up we'll try level seven on every single piece and boom just like that we are going to be dirt poor with shards but this is gonna help us level up a little bit faster so i'll take it and hold on dude i low-key do want to go check out some like actual player shops on the server to see if any 
anybody is like buying things for orbs because I need some orbs and I don't want to go to the caves just yet to farm out my own. So let's see, this guy advertised an island right here, some sort of shop. Let's click the warp here. They are buying books of experience for orbs, but the thing is I don't have too many books of experiences. Like that's kind of like a limited thing. I want something that I can just get a ton of. And it looks like that's absolutely nothing, to be honest. So these prices are like actually terrible as well. Like 20 million farm coins for one book of experience. Guys, I could make a shop if these are like the actual rates, but I don't think these are the actual rates. So we're going to go ahead and get the hell out of here. So whatever, guys, let's go ahead and do slash pets. And we are going to add some pet stats and some pet traits to our coin pet right here, because we should have a couple of these from free to plain, I believe. Legendary plus throw it in there. We have 11 rolls. All right. So again, can't be too picky and choosy with these buff one. I'm not going to lie, guys. I know it's not great, but we're going to rock with it because I'm or Yeah, you know what? I am going to throw this level pet in there because eventually we're going to get ourselves a second pet slot. Twin two. I don't think twin two is good, but we're just going to have to rock with the dude. All right. So boom, there we go. Let's go over to pet stats. Let's throw our coin pet in there and then re-roll this. Um, oh my God, that was just terrible all around. Oh, experience S, level SS, and then the grade is a little buns, but let's try and get something a little bit better. A minus, we're going to take that. That is not a bad free to play pet. And then uh, level right here, boom, A's across the board. We're going to go ahead and take it. So boom, there we go. For right now, this is what we're rocking. I think I'm just going to keep grinding off camera. We are going to be leveling up a ton of enchants now. I still need to max coin magnet, and then we're also going to work on maxing laser. And once we max laser, we should be able to level up at a pretty decent-ish rate. So I'm just going to take a cut right here, and that's what we're going to be working on here. I prestige 30 we will get ourselves another start of the world loot box so kind of looking forward to that farming milestones we are getting up there um let's just go ahead and claim all of these real quick let's see if we can get any better totem boxes like for like coins or something we got a way better money totem that is actually huge we are gonna hang on to this we got a 1.90x and before we were using a 1.5x so boom open these up not a better coin booster not a better money booster right there we have tier twos don't think these are gonna be great and yeah they are not but hey we did get one massive upgrade right there we take those and yeah anyways i guess uh go ahead go back to the grind okay guys we are back for a fat update clip i think i'm about to make a couple purchases okay first of all we have 316 million orbs so i think i'm gonna get a couple uh brand new companions because my companions currently i mean like look at the level multipliers bro absolutely useless okay but we are prestige 33 i'm working on getting to prestige 35 for one specific reason but so far we have been grinding a pretty decent amount i probably have a ton of keys that we can go ahead and open and low key guys look at that a full backpack sell was just worth 20 million dollars i'm really thinking about maybe possibly upgrading fortune on my hoe now listen this could be an absolute throw i don't know how good fortune is actually going to be but like 20 million if i'm making that like relatively fast i wouldn't say that's that bad well listen the main reason why i'm recording this clip is because i think it's time we start prioritizing our levels i'm gonna show you guys my upgraded hoe right here boom laser is fully done okay experience fully done and maxed out so that's our levels right there and i've just recently started upgrading momentum because if we read the description farm continuously to increase your level multiplier to help you proceed if i take a look up top right here my momentum multiplier is 1.58x but we have to keep farming to actually keep this multiplier which is why i haven't really stopped moving in this uh clip but listen if i do slash pets i still have a legendary uh level pet right here that we haven't been using because we don't have the pet slot so i think right now we are going to purchase a second pet slot so that way we can have a coins pet and a level pet going at the same exact time oh my god bro I am lagging so bad. So really quickly, guys, I got to do this fast so we don't lose our uh, momentum multiplier, but we have like all of this stuff right here from prestiging. 250 creds right there from prestiges. And then farming milestones, I think we have like a grip of these as well. Boom. Another 250 creds, 10 special stat rolls. So now we are at 962 credits, which is definitely enough for another pet slot. It's kind of late at night. It is currently one in the morning. So I'm going to ask in chat and see if anyone's selling one for cheaper. But if they're not, I'm just buying one from the credit shop. Okay, screw it. Um, literally nobody is selling one right now. I could wait till like prime time, but I really want to get the extra pet slot like right now. And guys, I have to grind up to prestige 75 where we will unlock credit finder. And this I feel like is going to be huge for the series. But right now we're prestige 33. So we're very far off of that. We just need something to multiply our levels right now. So far though, like on the leaderboards, I'm not doing too terrible we have 818,000 raw crops i believe that is so we're not doing awful but for right now let's actually run over here to the companion eggs real quick 25 million orbs per but look at these level multipliers i'm spending it all i can't lie bro 10 companion rolls right here
here for 250 or maybe that's a throw all right let's just try three i forgot what's like the lowest tier one but if we could just get some better tiers that would be great i think i'm just gonna buy six of these we don't want to spend all of them and then gummy companions wait i don't it, that's not the lowest one that's actually second tier which is not bad at all roll another three if we see three more gummies i'm i'm up bro i'm happy with that as long as we don't see like the pink one i think the pink one three more gummies i can't complain at all and look at that bro just from opening up six companions our multiplier already started dropping so now let's take a look at our companion storage we are getting rid of all of those chickens and wait oh i actually only needed five gummy or like freaking companion rolls but kind of wasted one and maybe we'll get a sixth slot unlocked in the future i don't really know but now slash buy let's go ahead take a look at this I believe it's in miscellaneous 500 creds for an extra pet slot we're gonna bite the bullet bro boom there we go and now slash pets we are equipping a level pet all right you guys let me know if this is a throw but i think it's gonna be huge because look at the pet multiplier bro this is giving us a 3.52x multiplier to our levels we have twin two on there again i don't really know if twin two is actually the greatest but for right now we're gonna rock with it because i want to be prestiging as quickly as like humanly possible but also we've done a lot of grinding so if i do slash crates we have to have 226 enchanted crate keys open up all of them and yeah we're gonna get some more pet boxes maybe we can actually get some upgrades to our pets here we are saving these cell wands and stuff just in case we run out ever oh my god we just got 198 percent coin booster 91 percent chance already as well dude that was literally a god roll um and if i go into my pv like something bro i know i have dust somewhere in here right pv5 boom let's max this thing out just get it to 100 percent real quick because this was an absolutely insane pull boom that's almost the max we could like possibly win so now let's come back over here crystals we are going to be in this 160 percent and equip a 198 percent that was actually an insane pull right there guys so now if we take a look at slash a boost where is our level our level boosters we're getting a 13.53 x total booster to our levels that is absolutely insane bro i should have done that and actually checked what our booster was before the pet before the companions i mean i guess we could actually go ahead and do that let's unequip the level pet real quick and actually we're gonna fuse some pets because we might actually get some upgrades here boom no we didn't but we're also not done upgrading the pets and then i just want to take a look at my companions let me unequip these bad boys and now let's do slash a boost we drop all the way to a 4x so we have basically triple over tripled our level booster that is going to be a massive help in the series so really quickly slash crates um i should have yeah we have some more farm keys let's actually open up all of these praying for some more pet boxes um boom we got oh we actually got a decent amount of pet boxes right here and we got an officer rank that we might be able to sell i feel like that's a pretty low tiered rank so maybe we won't be able to sell that i don't really know but screw it we're gonna hang on to that for now we did get a bunch of extra books of experience which we could also look into selling and now we're basically like out of keys i believe let's go ahead and bulk open those we have two normal keys i don't even know what you get out of these things bang that's basically all our keys let's just go ahead fuse all of our pets and boom we did upgrade to a legendary plus level so we'll take it still at a mythical coin pet but mythical is a pretty high tier for me right now so i am not complaining and wait a minute we do have two books of rarities i'm gonna use this on our level pet i can't lie bang now it's mythical now it's mythical plus now all we have to do is just upgrade the level of this thing and get it to the max but i'll take that or actually low key let's just let's just throw books on it right um bang stack right there pull up with this boom now it's almost the fully max level giving us a 4.48x booster okay guys i am extremely happy with this clip now i'm gonna take a cut i'm gonna get up to prestige 35 you guys will see the reason why here in a second i'm only two prestiges away and with all of these level multipliers now we should get there relatively quickly and just like that we have reached the level to actually prestige once again so we are prestige 35 and as you guys just saw in chat we hit a prestige milestone and uh if you guys know anything prestige nine mile or just milestone number nine in general gives you a start of the world loot box every single time so slash milestone guys we are claiming the start of the world loot box we're gonna place this thing down i don't even know what i really want to win out of this thing anymore ocean set is obviously still really good premium pass if that's even possible bro i don't know definitely don't want to win an infinite hopper anymore because uh yeah we already have one so i'm going to drop this down this is going to be the last clip of the episode because guys i have actually learned some critical information to like just becoming overpowered in the uh free to play series and here we go we got a lucky charm skin are you kidding me bro are you kidding me a a fishing rod skin we've got to be trolling bro 
We've got to be trolling. But listen, guys, I have found out some critical information that I am going to show off in the next episode. And trust me, I have been throwing the entire series, okay? Well, we're going to try and catch back up immediately. But for right now, this is what the hoe is looking like. I, yeah, we're, we're going to be making changes, okay? But anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode of the free-to-play gen series. Again, if you guys want to come check out the server, come play free-to-play for yourselves. Or you guys, you know, you guys can buy credits. It doesn't matter. However you guys want to enjoy the game mode, it is possible because I... And still having a blast. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, sub if you guys are new. Obviously, come check out the server with royal.enchantedmc.net. And I will catch you guys in the next episode of the Gens series.